Hello everyone, this is Emil Carino here. Welcome to my channel. For today's video, it's going to be all about the Bobbi Browns. If I am wrong, please correct me. Their first matte primer. And I am super excited to film this video because I love me some good matte primers. I live in such heat and humid area out here in South Georgia that a good matte primer and a foundation combination is just very important for me. Not only do I get oily throughout the day, but I also get oily fast. So I want to be able to see how this primer will work out from the start to finish. If you would like to see my first impression, my demo, my review, and also a wear test on this primer, please keep on watching. Bobbi Brown's Primer Plus Mattifier is a fresh, lightweight face primer that extends the quality of your foundation's wear while controlling oil, blurring pores, and helping keep skin's moisture level balanced. Skin will look matte but never flat. It is also paraben-free, sulfate-free, phthalate-free, mineral oil-free, and it is also vegan. This primer retails to $38. Now that I have my skin prepped and everything, let's go ahead and start with the primer. I don't know why, but I like to smell the products first before I apply it on my face. It has like a cleanser type of smell. For the sake of this video, I will be applying it all over my face. So I'll apply that much first. It definitely applies clear first. Instantly, my face feels matte already. It's like a demi matte. It feels like I am wearing nothing at all. It definitely has like a cooling sensation. It's kind of refreshing putting it on. So my face definitely feels soft and it's not like a type of primer where your skin dries up. It feels like it's matte, but it's still moisturizing at the same time. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not sure about blurring pores. I usually can't tell when a product has that type of claims, but it's definitely a comfortable matte primer. It feels like you're not gonna be worried too much about your foundation not applying smoothly, but we're gonna go ahead and test that out. So for foundation, I'm just going to use my go-to foundation at the moment. It's the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made. I'm in the shade M80. I'm gonna be using my Eco Tools brush. Okay, so I don't know what it is, but my foundation applied so smoothly. With my current primer that I use, it doesn't have the same effect of application like this. So I want to see how this holds up the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. I just applied a skin brightening under my eyes and on this side, I applied that same highlighting powder kind of acting like as a setting powder just on this side of my face and on this side of the, my face I didn't apply anything just on the corners of my nose and my mouth and underneath my eyes other than that I didn't apply anything else so this is the real test in which I go ahead and go about my day while wearing all of these products on my face my starting point is 207 p.m. I'm going to try and wear this for as long as I can and I will go ahead and check back with you guys with the results and I will see you guys soon. Hi guys, I am back with the end results of this primer. It is now currently exactly 7 o'clock p.m. And so far, I have a little bit of mixed feelings about it. Uh, my makeup definitely looks good still from the moment that I applied it until now. My foundation uh, besides this area right here looks very smoothened out and it looks very soft especially when I'm looking even close up. It has a healthy glow but it's soft. My forehead looks the same. I get 
oily right here and I get a lot of separation there but that is non-existent at all let's check this side of my cheeks no separation no blotchiness or anything my chin didn't change at all it looks the same all right the center of my nose it's not super oily and this is because I put highlighter on this area and right here closer to the side of the bridge of my nose it is collecting a lot of oils there the rest of my face looks amazing and smooth and blurred out besides this area the camera that I am using the lenses do not zoom so I'm gonna have to be a little bit up close and personal to you guys but I'm gonna do a quick zoom into my face actually can't wait to be able to use this primer with other foundations that I have and see how that works with those type of foundations uh, my product rate for this is going to be an 8.5 out of 10 8.5 just because it held up to its claims pretty much 8.5 also because there are very rare primers that dries me out when I apply it and it affects a lot of my foundation application and this however did not do that I gave it that rate also because it is such a comfortable wear also just made my face look overall so smooth and lastly that 9 to 10 rating is because I want to be able to have the opportunity to try this primer more I always give products second third fourth chances so that is why for now I'm going to give it an 8.5 Alright guys, that is it for my video about the Bobbi Brown Primer Plus Mattifier. I hope you guys enjoyed my review, my demo, my first impression, and my wear test. For next upcoming products, my goal is to be able to have a longer amount of time for a wear test. Because I feel like I didn't do it long enough, but I will. Once again, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!